everyone welcome to the explanation so in this video tutorial i'll be discussing about old question discussion in fortran part 3 so part 1 and part 2 i have already uploaded so i'll be providing the link in description box so without any delay let's move to the question so first question for today uh discussion is so the question is write a program write a program in fortran to check whether a positive integer entered from the keyboard is palindrome or not okay so we have to find whether the integer integer is palindrome or not so if you know uh, a number is palindrome if it is uh, equal if its reverse is equal to itself for example 1 to 1 so if you reverse it the answer is 1 to 1 so this is a case of palindrome so this question this it has been asked in 2068 chaitra okay and this carries 8 marks fine so let's go to the solution part okay so the concept is same as in c only the method of writing is different so going to the solution part let us consider integer s and r two variable s and r which is of type integer so i'll write that is similar to print f so enter a positive number because in question they have asked they have told you have to take a positive number read star star n and we'll assign this value of n to some variable called m okay so i have not declared m here i have not declared m here because i j k l m n they are by default integer in fortran okay so you no need to declare it as integer so we'll we'll assign m m equals to n now i'll provide a label here okay and i'll do my operation so r mod n 10 okay so it is similar to n mod 10 s equals to s into 10 plus r so it is if you if you are um, looking at it okay so you should know that this is the formula to reverse the number okay in c programming we did this fine so this is the formula so now if n is not equals to 0 will go to 15 so it is like loop till this condition is fulfilled will go and will perform this operation okay so after performing this operation i am continuing this program here so if m is equal to s then will write okay write number is palindrome will write number is palindrome else will write okay sorry it's not bracket here uh, star is star okay write not palindrome fine so we'll in this if and will in our program fine so this is the solution for palindrome it's very easy okay so next question is let's go to the next question so question number 2 for today question number 2 for today it is write fortran program to display greater and smallest number from the list of 10 elements okay so in this program we have got 10 elements or 10 number and we have to find the smallest and greater among them so this question has been asked in 2068 chaitra and this question also carries 8 marks okay so let's move to the solution part <coughs> Okay, so moving to solution part, we have 
okay we will con consider an array of type integer okay having length or having element 10 element we will consider a variable g for greater and s for a smaller then we will enter the 10 numbers okay sorry so star star enter 10 numbers fine read star star okay so the way of reading a single one dimensional array is a i i equals to 1 and 10 okay fine so this is the way how we read single dimensional array so i'll assign a value our a1 as greater as well as a1 as smaller so do okay so i'll we'll use here do loop okay so do label number so suppose label number is 111 i equals to 2 to 10 fine 2 to 10 an increment is done automatically by 1 if it is not given here so 2 to 10 increment by 1 if g is less than a i okay if g is less than a i so g will equals to a i fine and if s is greater than a i then s will be equals to a i i have used simple logic here okay and i'll provide the label here and i'll do continue so this loop it will perform the operation of a loop fine so till the condition is fulfilled it will perform the operation of loop so finally this is the continuation of program so finally i'll write star star okay greater number is comma g again write star star okay greater number sorry sorry it's not greater it's smallest number the smallest number is s finally i'll in the program okay so this is the solution for question number two so again this question they have asked for uh, eight marks fine so you can perform the operation like this now next question is um, let me see if we have some other questions left okay so i think uh, almost i covered all the questions of 3d part study okay so now let me see some question from matrix okay so there is a question let me write the question for you fine uh, let me clear the canvas okay so the question is um, question number three for today write a program to read a matrix and find its transpose matrix they say okay transpose matrix and this question they have asked in 2070 chaitra and this question again it carries eight marks fine so to find the transpose of a matrix we have to consider a matrix okay so i'll start the solution from here so let us name our program as matrix okay and let us consider a matrix integer type of matrix so matrix is mat which is of size 2 by 3 that is 2 row and 3 column and there will be a result matrix transpose to store the transpose so its row and column will be exact opposite of this okay so that is the property of transpose the variable i and j okay so write star star enter the matrix okay of size of size 2 by 3 okay so we'll enter the matrix so you know we can enter the matrix by using do loop so do i equals to 1 and 2 1 4 row uh, sorry this is 4 row this is start from 1 goes till 2 so this is 4 row another do loop uh, j equals to 1 comma 3 so this is for column okay fine so do or also you can uh, i'll i'll write here two methods okay so that you can learn both methods first method is 
do i equals to one two and we'll read the matrix like this star star okay mat i comma j and comma j equals to one and three so this is one method this is how you can read the matrix okay and we'll end do next is next method is do i equals to one comma two and do j equals to one comma three and result will be j comma i equals to mat i comma j okay so either you can use this type of loop or you can use this type of loop okay so in this case while reading okay you can use this loop so this is implied loop okay and otherwise you can use this nested loop so in this way uh this is outer loop this is inner loop so result j i will be equals to matrix i j fine so we'll in the do first two and we'll in the second loop okay so in this way the transpose of matrix result j i equals to the transpose of matrix so now we need to print this so i'll clear the canvas and i'll write here so for printing the matrix write star star okay the transpose matrix is matrix is okay so if you know the property of implied loop for reading and writing we can use the implied loop okay so again i am going to write the structure of implied loop so it is do i equals to 1 comma 3 okay write star star result i comma g okay and g equals to 1 comma 2 fine so in do and int okay so in this way we can find the transpose of a matrix so next uh, moving on to the next question we have um, okay so fourth number question i guess this is fourth number question uh, so fourth number question is write a program to read two matrices of same size they say okay of same size and display their sum so they have asked this in 2068 fine so without any delay let's go to the solution part so the solution will be uh, let me name this mat this program as program matrix okay integer okay mat 1 2 comma 3 mat 2 2 comma 3 and sorry this comma and result will stay so it will also be of size 2 comma 3 i and j fine so let us read two matrices fine let us read the two matrices so you can directly use implied do loop so i i guess you know the loop now so i equals to 1 comma 2 it's very easy read star star mat 1 i j and j equals to 1 comma 3 and we'll int do next is second matrix okay so for second matrix fine so before this you can write here like write okay star star enter first matrix enter mat one you can write here so again write star star enter mat two okay so we'll read it so again read using implied do loop so do equal do i equals to one comma two read star star mat 2 i comma j and j equals to 1 comma 3 fine and we'll do in do fine so we read matrix 1 we read matrix 2 now we have to do is we have to find the sum okay so for this i'll use my nested loop so do i equals to 1 comma 2 do j equals to 1 comma 3 okay so result i j will be equals to mat 1 i comma j 
प्लस मैट टू आई कॉमा जी विल इन डू हेयर एंड विल इन अनदर डू हेयर सो फाइनली विल प्रिंट द रिजल्ट सो राइट द सम ऑफ मैट्रिक्स इज डू आई इक्वल्स टू वन कॉमा टू राइट स्टार स्टार रिजल्ट आई कॉमा जे इक्वल्स रिजल्ट आई कॉमा जे कॉमा जे इक्वल्स टू वन कॉमा थ्री ओके इंड डू एंड इंड फाइन सो जस्ट रिमेम्बर वन थिंग वाइल रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग यू कैन यूज इम्प्लाइड डू लू अदरवाइज यूज नेस्टेड डू लू पॉलिटिक फाइन सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ आई थिंक आई हैव सॉल्व ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन ओके सो ओके सो आई थिंक दिस वॉज this was for today so i think four ten portion i have ended okay so next i'll be uh, making a video on pattern solution okay old question bank i'll be taking questions from old question bank and i'll be solving on pattern solution so like share and subscribe our channel and stay safe thank you